Today we are talking about how to travel plastic and waste free as much as possible. So I'm just about to embark on a two week adventure which will take me to four countries. So here I am a few hours before I need to fly, I haven't packed don't know what to pack. But one thing I do know how to pack is all of my toiletries and all of my cosmetics. That's what we're gonna talk about today. What toiletries and what cosmetics to pack for a long haul flight, a multi-city country trip. Waste and plastic free. Is it possible? Let's find out. Okay, disclaimer, I I'm not 100% plastic free. I do not live a 100% waste free life. I try. I am like a waste free wannabe. It's it's hard, okay? But I'm trying and definitely with my travel because I realize how environmentally unfriendly all the travel is that I'm doing, I try to make a conscious effort to be as waste and plastic friendly as I can. Thank you for all your amazing responses to the plastic free week video. Um, I really enjoyed making that for you guys and hopefully opening some eyes about this plastic prison that we live in that we call the world. So it has actually inspired me to become even more plastic free and even more waste free and the last few weeks I've been loads of research finding out how, what products to buy that are waste and plastic free. So let's get on to what I am packing for my full country trip around the world, not really around the world, you know what I mean. Right, let's get started. I'm gonna start with essentials, not cosmetic essentials. So for instance, coffee, because coffee is a life essential. Let's start with life essentials. Okay, this is my coffee. I think it's called a keep cup, but there it is, Joko. You need to bring a reusable coffee mug, cup, whatever you wanna call it with you wherever you go, not even when you travel. Coffee cups have got plastic inside of them and they are not recyclable, so bring you a reusable. Second, water bottle. This is the best water bottle in the world. I first discovered these way back when, when I was like 20 or 21 years old and I used to work in a summer camp in America and all the kids loved them, were obsessed. They're Camelback and they have the little like sucky straw. It actually really encourages me to drink a lot more water. Yes, it's plastic, but you can have this for the rest of your life. So you buy it once and then you're never gonna buy any more plastic bottles. I take it everywhere with me. And now on to something I was talking a lot about in the last video, plastic straws or non-plastic straws. Do not use plastic straws ever, ever, ever. You are polluting the environment and killing our planet. Okay, so <laughs> you steal straws or silicone straws or bamboo straws or paper straws or anything but plastic straws. So these are the ones that I got made for Girls at Scuba, which say, suck on this instead. I take these with me wherever I go and they come with a cleaner and just um, clean them on the go. And then they come in a nice little cotton bag. So put my straws in there and Along with this bag, I also carry um, metal cutlery, stainless steel cutlery, um, because nobody wants to use plastic cutlery. So straws and cutlery in this nice little bag. All of those essentials go in a tote bag, which is just awesome, multi-functional. This is our girls at Scuba One saying it is, this is not a plastic bag and it's super cute. It's got like whales and all those marine life. Um, yeah, I take this with me wherever I go. I don't even have handbags. I just have everything in a tote bag. So in my tote bag goes my water bottle, my reusable coffee cup, my straws and my cutlery. And off we go, on to adventure time. Um, let's go on to cosmetics. I think I have now. Um, is all waste free. Um, it's not all plastic free, but it is reusable. Number one, cosmetic. Every male and female needs in their life forever and ever is coconut oil. Da -da -da. This thing is magic. Me and my friends have a joke that there is nothing that coconut oil cannot solve. This is in a glass jar. It is um, 500, yeah, 500 millilitres. 
um, and it was only five pound. And obviously I'm not gonna bring that with me because it's heavy and it's quite a lot of liquid. Um, so what I do is I put it in a little bottle and this is where it's not plastic free, but um, this is like an old, you know, like one of those hotel bottles that I just kept. Great thing about coconut oil is it's really good for makeup remover because um, Usually as women we use those uh, makeup remover wipes or pads that we just throw away straight away so it's just so much waste with that. So a great alternative is coconut oil, literally all you need coconut oil. And then buy yourself um, like, this is like a little flannel um, cloth kind of thing but it's super soft and really really nice. It was like two pounds on Amazon um, and then you literally just put a little bit of coconut oil onto your cloth and then just use your uh, makeup your makeup wipe, your reusable makeup wipe as you would normally, and it's absolutely great. These you then just like pop in the wash or you can hand wash them and then like put them out to dry if you're in a hotel overnight. I also have a, like a flannel. Remember when flannels were a thing? When we were younger and we used to use flannels and not use these like one-time wipes that we just throw away? On to the next thing, one of my favorite new products are these bamboo toothbrushes. Okay, so obviously regular toothbrushes are plastic and they are thrown away like, I don't know, you should change your toothbrush like once every three months at least. Toothbrushes are not the sort of thing that actually get recycled, they're the sort of thing that end up in the ocean. Um, so these bamboo toothbrushes are a great alternative. And this is a four pack. I think this was like six or seven pounds. Um, it's the brand is Brush Naked. They're awesome as well, they're super soft, the bristles, and I love them. Toothpaste is something I haven't yet been able to find a good alternative, plastic and waste free. I'm sure there are some out there, I just haven't found any so far. This product, I think most people know about this now, are the shampoo bars. Okay, this one is from Lush, which are probably the most popular ones at the moment. So this is what it looks like. Literally, it is just a shampoo bar. This is shampoo in a bar. Really waste and plastic free. If you think about how many plastic shampoo bottles you waste over your time, is just, it's too much to even think about. These great little things come in absolutely no paper, no plastic. You put them in a tin, done. And look how small that is. This is your shampoo, whereas regularly, this is your shampoo. This is just, I haven't been able to find a conditioner bar yet that I've really loved. Um, so that's another thing that hopefully you guys can give me some recommendations for or I can find during the next few weeks. Next one, deodorant. Yes, this is deodorant. Okay, so at first I hated it, now I love it. I actually love it, I really, really love it. Um, it is, this one is called Earth Conscious and it's made in the UK, which is awesome because I love supporting local companies. So basically it's like, um, you see it? It's like a cream, it's like a paste. So you just use it with your fingers. You literally just put fingers like this, like um, a cream, and then you put it under your underarms. Um, so I think when I first started using it, I didn't use enough, uh, but you do have to put quite, quite a few quite a few layers on and it is perfect like it sticks all day it is great and i just love that it's in this little tin absolutely perfect to travel with um just so 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 in love with these like tin products i just oh my goodness like even if it's nothing to even if you don't want to be waste and plastic free which is really dumb um just do it for convenience like these two like these two products take up this much room and you have them in your bag it's so easy okay next is another lush product this is a body conditioner. So again, you can use uh, the coconut oil, but sometimes I find like if you're, you need body conditioner and you're going straight out, the coconut oil can make you a little bit shiny. Um, so this is um, just there we get in the pot. So the great thing is that I can go back to Lush and get that filled up when I want it, or I can just fill it up with my own product. Um, yes, it is a plastic um, container but it's reusable and I'm always gonna use that as my body lotion. This is the little DIY project of mine. Um, I bought like, um, actually no, somebody bought this for me. It's a 100% natural like vegan soap. Um, it's called the Printed Peanuts Travel Soap Antiseptic Insect Repellent. Um, organic, like just awesome. Like everything, this company is super awesome. Um, and it came in a little, this was the wrapper of the soap. So it's just like, you know, body soap. Um, shower gel in a bar um, and but it didn't come in a tin so I used like an old jewellery box that had a, a necklace in 
and then just wrapped it in like tin foil and then I just put the um, packaging on the top just to make it look nice and it's got a little it's got a little home now. So you've got your like shower gel equivalent, you've got your shampoo, you've got your deodorant, you've got your body lotion, and it's like this is it. Look how much room it does not take up. I'm obsessed with how much room it doesn't take up. Everything that I need that I'm taking with me on this four country trip fits nicely. So uh, literally, this is my cosmetic bag and look how small it is. The awesome thing about these waste-free products, not always plastic-free, is they are all under 100 mil. So if you wanted to, you take all of this on your carry-on. Um, it's great, everything fits. You don't have to bring like one of these huge uh, like cosmetic bags. I actually got have got my one that I used to bring with me, like one of these ones. It's like bigger than me. Um, and I used to have to have this because I would carry the um, shampoo bottle, the conditioner bottle, the um, shower gel bottle, the body moisturizer, and it would all go in this and it would be like spilling out the sides. And now I've managed to downsize to this. And last thing is um, just a little pot of Vaseline. It's one of those things you just need. So what you can do is you can just bulk buy a really big Vaseline and then just put it into there for lips, for like anything. That is everything I take to travel. Four countries, two weeks, one cosmetic bag, one tote bag, absolutely zero waste. I'm really happy to be sharing all of this with you guys. I hope I've inspired you to when it's time to buy some new products, ditch the plastic products you've got and find those waste-free, plastic-free alternatives. I am off to Dubai, then I'm off to Bangladesh, then I'm off to Holland, then I'm off to Germany, and when I'm back, I hope to be doing even more plastic waste-free videos as much as I can to inspire you and others to become more eco-friendly, more efficient, more convenient. Just enjoy the process of being plastic and waste-free. I'm out of here, I have a plane to catch and I will see you guys very, very soon. Happy travels!